Well, why don't we listen to the organ for a few seconds here? I'm going to give it maybe 10 seconds. We'll just enjoy it. Alright, time for us to hit the play button. And we're back for more House of 1000 Doors, the palm of the Zoroaster. That's right, we are here, we are in, well, it said India slash Pakistan, so I don't know if we're somewhere in between or what that really means. Uh, anyways, we are here, oh, look at that, I didn't even think I could do that. I didn't realize I had rope there. And uh, we have to, uh, well, fundamentally we're going to be finding another key. Uh, wow, it just brought me back here. I don't want to be there, actually. So I think we can take the lid off with these pliers here. Wow, these are fast pliers. Look at these things. Doink, doink, doink. <laughs> and we have got some dynamite. Dynamite is dynamite. Good. So we're going to need that for uh, breaking something. Well, I guess this goes here, doesn't it? Elephant. Ooh, elephant. Oh, I see staircase. I like it. Got myself the red gem. The one who collects the pieces of an ancient gate will be able to open the cache. The old man had only one treasure, a large orange gem. Everyone knew the gem was valuable, but the old man wouldn't sell it. A cruel warrior decided to steal it, but the old man locked himself and his treasure in his wood house. The warrior was determined to get the gem, so he ordered the, his lackeys to burn down the house, rake through the coals, and find it. The man did as he said, but the old man refused to leave his home and was burned to death. Well, that's just sort of crazy. Now, I understand what the storyteller was writing about, the Flaming Stone, also known as the Palm of the Zoroaster. It used to belong to an old man who made flutes for the children of his village. He was the keeper of the huge gem, the very artifact that was the source of the evil that befell this town, and the monks in Tibet. When the thieves burned down the old man's house, they woke up a demon contained within the gem. Well, that is karma for you right there. So let's put this gem here. So now I gotta rotate. Uh, maybe I'll do this one. Oh, what am I looking at here? Rotate the segments of the totems to assemble the images on the totems. I don't know when I'm done. I think that goes there, but I don't know about this one. It doesn't look like it. Ah, thank you for highlighting the completeness. Thank you. Uh, so I assume we're not going to want to replicate what we have here. Well, that probably is what we have to make, isn't it? It's pretty... Go. Oh, this one even makes different sounds than the other one. Hmm. Cool. Whoa. It's a boomerang. I'm going to get myself some bananas with my boomerang. No, I want the bananas. They're right there. Go. <laughs> monkeys, have I got a treat for you? Let's go find the monkeys. There you go, monkeys. 
time to blow up this uh, log jam here. Boom! Ooh, he's following us. Hi there. Thank you for setting us free. Now we can rest in peace. The cursed stone is not in the city. If it were, you'd be dead. But there is a weapon that can help you to destroy it. I hid it in a secure place, but I'm sure you can find it. Your heart will tell you what to do. Farewell. And farewell to you too. Ooh, it's a bat. I'm clicking it. Clicking it again. Another bat. Skeleton. We have that gem, if you don't mind. There's Skelly. Whoa, eyewitnesses said that the old man's house was burning. He cursed the thieves screaming. Wow, he actually summoned the, the demon. Wake up and unleash your wrath on these wicked men. Place your power in the stone, in the palm of the Zoroaster, and let everyone who owns the palm be doomed to eternal sorrow. Those were the last words of the man who loved to make flutes out of palm tree branches. How macabre is that? self morphine object. Ooh, what are we doing here? Assemble the puzzles by clicking and dragging the... Oh, no. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm emotionally prepared for Tetris. Um, I have a sneaky suspicion that... Uh, yeah. Uh, so... Still not good enough. Hmm. Let's see, how does that help me at all? I don't think it does. That will that help me? Yes, I can do that. Then I can do that. This. Hmm. That actually worked, but I don't think that's going to do me much good. Interesting. Very interesting. That's backwards. You see that? Oh, I can actually just yank it right out. That's kind of cool. That's not going to do me much good, though. Uh, I think that's where I had that, right? So, how am I going to do this? Oh, it just fell. Huh. Get rid of that. And then put that there. Put that there. Definitely, uh, trouble here. This Tetris game is, uh, going to be the death of me. It's one of those things where usually when I get this far and it's like, it's not working! It typically means I gotta strip the thing back to the bare bones and start over. But actually what I want to do is check the map. Let me see if there's anything else to do. Okay, so I'm gonna go and we'll be back to that puzzle. I'm actually kind of curious now. I wonder if it reset. Let me see. Yep, it reset. Oh shoot. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that in a single go. We will. We'll get to that. Don't you worry. We have to do it, so we have to do it. I just thought 
needed to take a little bit of an emotional break. Whoa, we just sort of ripped that right off the wall, didn't we? Oh yeah, that's right, this is the interesting collection of some goodies in here. Like the rubber ducky. I need a key. Wow, there's just like struggling here with stuff. Where's that crawfish? Right there. Shovel. Plug and a hammer. Oh yeah, that's right, we fixed the cup in the uh, last episode. Map is done. Shovel. There's the key. The baseball was in here. Fan, no. So we have a knife, a shovel, a wing. What else is in here that we f will find interesting? No mushroom this time. Fan and a plug. It's gotta be one of those lady fans, right? Yeah. Wave to cool yourself down. The shovel is definitely a tricky one. No, it's not in there. Huh. Is the letter A in there? I don't see the letter A. That's a plastic shovel. That is not a shovel that I was looking for, but oh well. What are you going to do? I guess that's not a fan. It's not the fan that we're looking for. Plug and a fan. What in the world are we looking for? Hmm. There's the fan. I have no idea what we mean by plug. Shoot. Oh, an electric plug. Wow. Okay. And I have a knife. Go back here. Why do I need a knife? Cut into this? Yep. Get a bowl. Mmm. A bowl full of honey. Looks like I have to go back here to do this puzzle. Oh, a dictionary. Actually. Haha, -ha, I'm avoiding that puzzle. <laughs> Fire, sun, bird. What does it even mean? I need to know what this text means as Gabrielle had something etched. Had someone etched those symbols into the stone. What is that for? Why do we care? Fire. Sun. Bird. That was from memory. And now I have myself a puzzle piece. Why do I need that? Good question. Do we have light points to this object? Evidently I need to place something there. Why won't a mirror work? I want some glue. I want a gem. Yep, gems are cool. Nope. I believe the ray of light should bounce off the wall. I need to place a mirror there. There we go. Slurp that up real good. Holy cow, we got a laser puzzle, folks. Oh boy. Oops, we got that. Uh, how is this going to work? Ooh, we're actually really close. Boom. Elephant. Lighten you up. Bishop. Sweet. So we'll go back here. 
I think I needed two pieces though. I sure did. And we're back for more of this silly puzzle here. More Tetris time. And we're going to lay this out as efficiently as we can. Uh, just by taking care of some of these ugly pieces first. And we do want to have this all level out just clean and... That, see there, that looks pretty good right there. Now let's see what else we can do here. Oh wow, I can actually do that? So if I get rid of that there... I could put that there. And just stack these things up, or what? No. No, I cannot stack these things up. But, yeah, I just saw it. I just saw the solution right there at the end. See what I'm saying, though? You just, sometimes you just gotta restart from the beginning. Oh, I wouldn't have been able to solve it without that piece anyways. Come with me, knight. I have some chests that we need to play. Let's go, chessboard. Am I going to have to do this puzzle, too? Oh, it does it itself. That's so cool. I thought it was a magic carpet. <laughs> Maybe it's a magic elephant. Ooh, a hookah. No, I need that crystal skull. I wanted to stay for the party, but no such luck. I now have three skulls. All I need to do is find one more skull and the cursed gem, and I'm I'm growing apprehensive about finding the gem as I don't know how to deal with the demon inside of it. That means we're gonna get a key, folks. Let's go to the organ. Slap that on there. And we now have a key. Jerusalem. Well, my instincts tell me to take a break, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and continue to play. I've got a few more minutes left of uh, fun, so why not just uh, keep, on, keep on trucking here. So we're here. I'm actually in Via de la Rosa, the street along which Jesus carried his cross to Golgotha. I don't know much about uh, Christian, uh, I should say Christian, I should say Jerusalem history. I could use that oil, but I have absolutely no inventory whatsoever. So, where is that morphing object? Whoa, what's up with all this stuff? What a beautiful flower, but I don't need it right now. Everything is missing. Locks are rusted shut. Take that cross. That sieve. Something's stuck in the pipe. Unfortunately, I can't get my bare hand in there. Uh, yeah. There we go. That is a lot of different crosses. Holy cow. All different shapes, too. Builders discover ancient temple. Construction workers were digging the foundation for a new city hall when they found a room that was part of a temple no one knew existed. The discovery of the temple now known as Mena. Or Menai. Surprised not only historians, but also archaeologists. Chance discoveries like this are the stuff of great stories. What happened at the ancient temple? Did archaeologists find the fourth skull? Good question. Whoa, holy cow, where are we? Who's this dude? Good evening. Are you here to visit the museum? The exhibition is closed. 
They found something again in the excavation. Scientists were everywhere. Even the local mayor showed up. Word on the street is, they found something valuable. So they placed me here to protect the exhibition from thieves. I just wish they hadn't put me in this stupid Roman armor. They probably did it to entertain the tourists. I was wondering about that. <laughs> A security guard is standing to watch at the entrance to the museum. The museum is closed to visitors while the top archaeologists in the world study the remains of the temple. The museum's curator is making the guard wear Roman gear in order to entertain disappointed tourists. But I just found a broom. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. What I need to do is find a morphing object though. It's a shoe. No, it's a sandal. No, it's something else. All sorts of stuff going on here. Another morphing object. Something might be hidden in the sand. How am I going to get that out of the... But how am I going to get that cross? Nope. Grab the top. Magnet. Something is glittering in the brush. I need to trim the leaves. Alright folks, this is where we take a break. But we'll be back for more House of a Thousand Doors. Number two. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the game so far. I'm personally getting into it. I'm enjoying the different settings and all that, so always glad to hear your comments down below. Thanks very much for watching.